The castle house, when we bought it, we didn't know it was haunted. Uh, we bought it because it was just a really neat landmark. But then we had people started stopping every day asking us why we ever bought the haunted house. And they began telling us stories about what they called the screaming woman or the crying woman. Well, we didn't give it much thought. We just figured it was just stories until we started to hear a woman in the house crying and weeping and then furniture began to move, doors opened and closed on their own. Um, people would, or something would lock us out of the house, we would step out, they would lock all the deadbolts behind us. Um, beds would unmake themselves. It, we could just go on and on about all the weird phenomena. And then we realized when rocking chairs started to rock on their own, that there was something really behind all the stories that had been told to us. All right, you're gonna enjoy the climb. Martha Dixon room. I was awakened around 1.30 a.m. with whispering voices beside the bed near my pillow. I got up and started taking pictures all around the room. I reviewed all the pictures that I had taken the next morning and found a white column of plasma or plasism that appeared on one picture to the side of the bed in the hallway at the top of the stairs. Ralph Combs.